All right, what to do with the apple cider vinegar? I could pour it, could pour it out, but then again, I wonder if we can reuse it. But what we need to do is we need to filter it, filter it out, get out the chunks and bits. So what I've done is I've got a tin. I've drilled some holes in the bottom of the tin. I've filled it full of some old um, uh, dryish uh, wet ones. Okay, so hopefully with a bit of paper towel and that, pour, we stick it on top. And what we do is we pour it in, and hopefully, I'm not going to pour it all in. When they... So hopefully when it goes through, it will. Leave the chunks at the top. And we'll see how it is. We're done. What we have left in the container is bits of rust and probably bits of the pliers as well. Okay. It looks pretty clean to me. Almost looks like we can pour that straight back in the bottle. And reuse that one. But, okay, so this one here, this is the one that we had the, um, the screwdriver in. Sorry, not screwdriver. We had the driver bits in. We also had the, um, the, uh, the drill. So anyway, the drill's still in there. Okay, so, and it is quite yucky and murky, so I wonder if we can filter out some of that murk and yuck. don't know. We'll have to give that a go. Just undoing it now. This way, it's an easy pour. As you can see, it is a bit dark compared to our, our first lot. I wonder if we can actually salvage it or whether we just tip it. There you go, it's not too bad. But this other one, this other one's quite dark. This one had a lot, lot more rust in it, because it was in this container, remember? With the rusty drill bit and the other rusty bits. Well, anyway. It's been filtered, so what I'll do is I'll pour it in a bottle and then maybe mix the two together or something, I don't know. Or maybe just tip it out. Don't know. Alright, see ya.